Right. Now let's talk about cyclovolcanes. Okay. So cyclo means you have a ring, right? And still we are talking about alkanes because we only have carbon-carbon single bonds. Okay. So there's no no double bond, no triple bond here. All right. <clears throat> so how many carbon carbon atoms do you would need to form a ring? Okay. So minimum you need three. Okay. So you can form a ring. Right. So that's your so three carbons, one, two, and three. Each corner is a carbon, so one, two, and three. So you have three carbons. So three carbons is propane. Okay. If you go back to the normal alkanes, okay, three carbons is a propane, but you have a ring, so that becomes cyclopropane. Okay. So that will become then cyclobutane because we have four carbons here. Okay, so you count carbons, and since it's a ring, you write, just write down cyclo in front of it. So that will be cyclopentane, and this will be cyclohexane. Okay, so these are the different <coughs> alkanes, uh, cycloalkanes. Okay, we have. We can also have uh, seven carbons or eight carbons, right? So we can also have seven carbons. So that's your one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and that will be cycloheptane. All right, so seven carbon is heptane, so cycloheptane. <clears throat> All right, so how do we name the cycloalkanes now? So the rules are still the same, okay, but there's it's a little bit different than what we just saw, okay. Because in this case, we don't have a chain. Instead, we have a ring now. So how do we handle it? Okay. So let's start with a simple example. Okay. And then we'll build up on slowly. All right. So what I'll do is I will write down an example here. Okay. So let's say we have a structure like this. All right. So we have a carbon, right? And there's a carbon here. And then that's your, that's your ring. All right. So then again, rule number one is find the longest carbon chain, okay? Now, we have a chain, okay? We, let's say we have a branch here, and then we have a ring, okay? So in this case, whichever is longer is your parent, okay? So is the ring longer, then that should become your parent, or the chain longer, okay? So if I look at this chain right here, that's only one carbon. And if I look at the ring, then that has six carbons, right? So that means six carbons ring will become your parent. And what kind of parent you have then? That's cyclohexane. So that is cyclohexane is your parent. Okay. So you can start numbering them. Okay. So if I had to start numbering then, the branch should get the lowest possible number. That will become your branch. So this is your branch right here. Okay. If that becomes your parent, then that is your branch. Right. So that branch then is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Because that's the lowest number we can go is one, right? <clears throat> so you have one methyl, let's say, right? So you have your branch and your parent. Let's put them together. There will be one methyl cyclohexane. All right. Or you can just write down simply methyl cyclohexane here. Because we only have one, one branch here, so it doesn't really matter where it goes, it's going to be still methyl cyclohexane. Right. So still rules are the same. We just have to make sure that we are dealing with the ring now and not the chain. All right. So let's try a couple of more examples. So let's say we have something like this. All right. <clears throat> so we have all these carbons right here in the ring. All right. So now compare. Is your ring bigger or the chain bigger? Right. So what we have here, we have one, two, and three carbons in the ring. And chain has only one carbon. Okay. So your ring is bigger with three carbons. That's why the parent will be cyclopropane three carbon is cyclopropane so that is your cyclopropane right 
and then you have to start numbering the carbon atoms, right? So if I start numbering here, right, well, that will be one, two, three, right? So that will be one, two, and three carbons, right? <clears throat> So your substituents or your branches will be on carbon one and carbon two. So you'll be have one, two, right? Now, if I make this as carbon one and this as two, then we'll still have one and two, okay? So I can make it like this. So let's, I just write down the structure here. All right, so if I make this as carbon one and carbon two, and this will be carbon three, then we still have one and two. Right, so we still have one and two here, right? But if I make this as carbon, let's say, if I make this carbon as carbon one right here, so if I make this as one, two, and three, then the branches will have one and three. So which is the smallest number? one and two are smallest number. So I can either go this way or I can go this way, but I cannot go this way because the branches are not getting the lowest possible number, okay? So I had to go either this or this way, right? <clears throat> so what I have here, I have two methyl and one methyl, okay? So when I write down the nomenclature, that will be one, two, dimethyl cyclopropane, right? So we have one, two, dimethyl cyclopropane so your branches and the parent together all right so this is how you handle it okay you can try all the possible ways and see which will give you the lowest number with the branches all right so let's try another example here <clears throat> So you have branches which has only one carbon and your, your ring is three carbons, right? So one, two, and three. So your ring is bigger, so that's your cyclopropane. That's your parent, okay? Now when it comes to numbering, you have to be a little bit careful now, okay? Because I cannot number the way I want, right? So if I make this as carbon one, okay? So I make this carbon one and two, because these are the only two carbons has the branches on it. This is not, okay? So if I make this as carbon one and two, then that will become one, one, two, right? So one, one, and two. Other way around I can go is I can make this as carbon one and make this as carbon two. So if I make this as two and one, then I will have one, two, and two because I have methyl and a methyl. So that will become one, two, two. So which is smaller number out of these two? This is smaller. So that's why I have to go with this. So your nomenclature will be then, sorry, that will be <clears throat> one, one, two, and we have all these methyls. So that will be one, one, two, trimethyl cyclopropane. All right, so let's try some complex examples, right? So let's say we have cyclohexane with all these three different groups here, all right? So is your chain bigger or the ring bigger, right? So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, okay? So we have maximum four in the chain, and on the ring has six, all right? So that means your parent compound will be cyclohexane because that has six in it, that's the longest, right? Now let's go after the <clears throat> numbering, right? So if you wanna start numbering, then I can number this as one, two, three, and four, right? So that will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that way, each substituent will get the lowest possible number, right? So if I make this as number one, then it will be one, three, four, okay? So what we got here is one, two, four, Okay, if I make this as one, then there will be one, three, four. So which is smaller than one, two, four is smaller than one, three, four. And that's why we have to go with this numbering right here. Okay, so this is the correct numbering. Now what we have here on carbon one, we have sec-butyl group. 
that is your sec-butyl group. Okay. Carbon two has methyl, and carbon four has tertiary butyl group. So you have four carbons with a cross, that is your tertiary butyl group. Right. So when you start naming them, you're looking at <clears throat> which comes first. Right. So you have sec-butyl and we have third butyl right so butyl butyl are same in both the cases so i will choose sec butyl as to go first so you have one sec butyl then four third butyl okay two methyl <clears throat> and that is your parent is cyclohexane All right. So in this case, we only alphabetize this group right here. But butyl butyl is same in both the cases. So what I did, I chose this letter here. Okay, just a just a common sense that S and T. So T comes before after S. So that's why I put sec butyl first. All right. So that should be the nomenclature for, for this compound. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let's try. So let's imagine this is the most complex example you can imagine with cycloalkanes. Right. So if you can do this, basically you can do any example, okay? So <clears throat> let's look at the parent first, so which is your longest carbon chain here, okay? So we have one, two, two, and three max. So your chain is not longest. Instead, what you have is your ring as the longest, so that becomes your parent. So your parent still is cyclohexane here, all right? And then... We start numbering. So when you start numbering, then I can start from one, two, three, four. Okay, so that'll be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, or I can go from here, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so either way, it'll be the same because there's a symmetry here. So this side is same as this side. So either I can make this as one and go around or make one and go around. It will be the same, all right? So what we have then, we have ethyl, 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 ethyl. So we have four ethyl, four ethyl, and this is isopropyl, because you have three carbons here, so, and with a Y, that is isopropyl. So how can I name this compound then? So the nomenclature for this will be, <clears throat> so how many ethyls we have? Four plus four, so eight, and those are on one, one, two, two, Four, four, five, five, octaethyl. Because we have eight of them, okay. Then we have three isopropyl, and then you have your parent, which is cyclohexane. Okay, so it should be in one word. So there'll be one, one, two, two, four, four, and five, five, octa. Because you have eight of them ethyl, <clears throat> three isopropyl, cyclohexane, all right? So in this case, octa is not the part what you alphabetize. What you alphabetize is the group, okay? So you have ethyl, isopropyl, that's what you alphabetize, not how many are there. So di, tri, tetra is not the part of alphabetization, all right? So let's take a look at some more complex examples, all right? So in this case, we have a chain and the ring together, okay? So how do I decide which is my parent compound, okay, or which is my longest carbon chain. Again, you just have to count number of carbons, right? So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So five carbons in the chain, and ring has one, two, and three. So which is longer here? Chain is longer, so that becomes your parent compound. So five carbons is pentane, and that is your parent compound, right? then you start numbering the carbon atoms in the chain so that you can go one, two, three, or one, two, three. Either way you go, you still have the same number here because that's in the middle, right? So that will become three, okay? And what kind of substitute is that? That's a branch with three carbons with a ring, so that is cyclopropane, but it's a branch now, it's not the chain. So methane becomes methyl, same way cyclopropane will become cyclo propyl so we have three cyclopropyl pentane okay. so there should not be any space here so that will be pentane all right so make sure whichever is bigger 
or whichever is larger will become parent and whichever is smaller will become the chain or sorry the branch all right <clears throat> let's try this now all right so in this case we have six carbons in the ring okay six and chain has one two three four five and six so there are six carbons in the chain and six carbons in the ring so we have a tie here with the longest carbon chain in this case we only had one carbon chain longer but in this case we have a tie okay so if you go back and see what we did when we had two chains of the same size then you go with the chain that has the most number of branches right so if i choose this chain right here then i only have one branch okay so if i go with this then i only have one branch but if i go with this then i have one two and three branches okay so then i have to go with this chain as the parent because that has most number of branches okay and when i start when when it starts numbering then i have to start numbering from this because that can get number one here right so that will be a one two three four five and six all right so on carbon one we have cyclohexyl because it's, it's a chain it's, it's a branch now it's not a chain so when it's a branch it will become cyclohexyl okay. then you have three ethyl and four methyl right so c comes before e so that will be one hyphen cyclohexyl cyclohexane becomes cyclohexyl because it's a branch then we have three ethyl right four methyl and the parent is hexane so six carbon is hexane all right so again no matter what structure it is okay you still follow the rules and rules are pretty much the same for every structure all right there's a different way to handle when you have a ring and the chain okay when your ring is a parent compound then you just have to go in circle all right so different ways to handle it but rules are same all right